So we've been talking now for what, about an hour of doing behind the scenes stuff about the documentary, but I wanted to open the floor for questions. If anybody wants to ask questions about Amanita, anything off topic, we're going off topic now from that to anything anybody wants to talk about. I have, I have a question. So this yeah. is Dan. I'm here with Jen. Um, so a little background on myself is that I've been doing uh, cannabis assisted detoxes for opiate addicts, for benzo addicts, for all kinds of people that are using um, substances. And I recalled your your story with Amanitas for you coming off of benzos. And my question so, is, if somebody is still taking SSRIs, if someone is still taking medications, can they use Amanitas safely? Um, I can't answer that because that's practicing medicine without a license. Got it. And that could go to prison for that. So I will not answer that. Whereas Amanita works on glutamate, the cholinergic, and the GABA receptors. However, there are some back channel pathways that will boost serotonin through a series of steps. But I know a lot of people that are microdosing psilocybin and amanita simultaneously, um, not high dosing at the same time, because uh, amanita being a GABA agonist is the same as a benzo, which is a GABA agonist. They hit GABA's A's and B's. But if you're having a high dose, trip that you don't like to kill it they will give you a benzodiazepine and so amanita will also kill a trip so if you're taking high doses of the two you want to get the amanita on board first and then stack psilocybin on top of it as far as people that are microdosing i'm hearing about people taking one in the morning one in the evening amanita seems like it should be an evening one because that crossover into muscamol will put you to sleep but i also know people that take ibotenic acid in the morning by breaking off a raw piece of amanita and then also microdosing psilocybin in the morning. So I, I have a feeling it's going to be one of those personal things, but when it comes to a pharmaceutical, not only are there zero tests at all that show how these two are going to interact with each other, not only can I not speak to it, not only have I not done that, I believe that there's so much unknown in what pharmaceuticals can do that it is very risky to take any, any amount of a pharmaceutical of significance and a powerful natural drug of significant levels simultaneously, simply because of the unknown. And people ask me all the time, how do I get off benzos using Amanita? And the only thing I can say is what I said in my story, I got to low levels, but was still miserable. I tripped on Amanita and didn't need my benzos anymore. But that was me. And I was fully ready to have serious backlash from that. And have, I had both at the ready. And I was going to try both. And as it turns out, I didn't need either. But that doesn't mean that other people wouldn't. And one of the things that we know about natural drugs like this, especially mushrooms, they are so highly adaptogenic, sentient, and intelligent that they do different things in different people based on their needs and different things to different people based on their strain or where they grew and their chemistry of the soil. But they do different things to different people at different times of day. There is no one size fits all answer. And if you work with these drugs, you already know what I'm saying. And so basically you asked me a question that all I am doing is validating what you already knew. Danielle, what? Did she just leave without even? No, she's still here. Uh, I have to work. Text deadline. I'm listening if you want to do the yeah. intros. And the, um, yeah, say hi and talk, tell us about your Zooms. That this is. I have a private community called mushroomvoice.com where we have a lot of different themed Zooms every month. We have a calendar. This is how I pay my bills. I make about $50 or $30 a month on YouTube. I make nothing on Etsy anymore. I make um, nothing on Instagram. I make nothing on Facebook. I pay the bills with my store and my private patron community. And we have a nice offering of a lot of different Zoom meetings. This is Danielle. She's one of our moderators and she hosts the ADD ADHD Zoom. Hi everyone. Um, I I don't have a, a full on intro, um, but I just I just want to introduce myself. Um, I I started um, 
with a uh, knowing dreamer uh, about a year ago when I took her class on Amanita. And that was a really life-changing class for me. Um, and then when I started attending the Zooms, they were talking about taking um, the, uh, the ibotenic acid, the caps as a, um, aw, Caleb. Um, and, uh, and using it for ADHD. And so I started using it for ADHD starting in February of this year. And that was a complete life changer for me. Finally, my brain could work and I could do the thing. I, I didn't realize that ADHD was affecting my life so much. When I, um, when I first started taking the Amanita and I started taking the tea, the mushrooms actually told me I had ADHD. And up until that time, it hadn't occurred to me why I was struggling so much at my work. You know, when everybody I was working with are just progressing nicely in their careers and I was still, you know, not quite circling the drain, but I was really dealing with a lot of the ADHD symptoms of procrastination, inability to focus, you know, uh, time blindness. It was, it was a lot. And when I started taking the ibotenic acid, I could finally function. And so um, I really wanted to support other people who struggle with ADHD. I did go through the medical uh, community or the, the medical system and I, I did get a diagnosis, but they, um, it's so controlled, you know, they wanted to put me on pharmaceuticals and I haven't taken pharmaceuticals in my life and I really didn't want to start. I feel so much more comfortable uh, taking the, um, the mushrooms. I feel like it, it helps me a lot and it, it gives me what I need. Uh, so we started the ADHD community when Dreamer was on um, Patreon. Patreon, and that was really nice because, you know, we could finally compare notes and, and really uh, share our, our um, dosing schedules. And, and so it's really nice to see and talk with people who are in different phases of their journey, either. Thanks, anyway. Danielle. One of the things that I really like about this is because we can't give people dosing information, that it's a way for people to come together and sit as in science this thing because there is no science for it. And because I can't like prescribe stuff and tell people what to do, that this is a way for people to come together and say, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. Thank you so much for hosting that Zoom. It's, it's, it's the one I get the most questions about, I think. Best of luck with your uh, taxes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry, you got to go to work. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Dreamer. I really Bye. appreciate how much work you do. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Natalia, yeah, you want to tell us? Oh, you do? I'm ready. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> may as well get it out of the way um laura i see oh. your hand i'll get i'll i'll get to you after bradford tells us about his zoom um my zoom's name is community chat and that tells you a lot about it um it's a good place for people to come hang out share stories sometimes it might be a little bit like an, an integration circle other times it's just about people uh catching up with an old friend who they haven't seen online for a while um, we do talk a lot about uh, microdosing, especially the very beginnings of it, how to make the tea, going over some of the real simple stuff about, you know, how to get started. Uh, at the same time, you know, sometimes we have really in-depth conversations and really it's, it's just a, a nice place to be. A lot of people talk about the freedom that they feel having finally found a place where they can talk about their use of entheogens and not be, you know, worried about who's going to overhear. I really can't overstate how it's just wonderful to see that kind of thing happen. And it's all about being able to come to this space as you are. There's no creed. There's no thing you have to acknowledge. Um, I think the only thing we really don't want to talk about is conspiracy theories. But other than that, the table is open, the people are nice, and it just makes for a great Saturday. I have the first Saturday of the month, and then your Zoom is second and third Saturdays, right? That's right. All right, let's take a question. Laura, what's up? What's up, Leslie? Um, yeah, I started my tea, and um, I don't know, some of you knew this from last time, but I have mast cell disease and histamine intolerance. And so 
Um, I think I started too high. Basically, I'm down to like, what is it? One sixty fourth of a teaspoon, which is like a drop. <laughs> I don't know how to ask the question, so I'm just going to explain it. And then if anybody has any input, um, I seem to be able to tolerate that dose. But since it's so small and so low, I'm just thinking that it might not be optimal to follow the same three day, three off, you know, pattern that everyone else is because with my trying to maybe build tolerance, I'm wondering if that's so small that staying on that kind of schedule will take me five years to, <laughs> to build a dose. So like, I don't know if anybody has any comments about something like that. I don't know how to, ask, like I said, I don't know how to ask it. Well, the only reason I made that protocol is that's an average to okay. give people who have no idea an idea of where to start and to show you that you can do too much by taking it every single day, okay. by showing people that you, you start with this much, but you start putting some more and more time in between it with the idea being that you will learn to feel for yourself what you need to be doing. This should be an intuitive process. And I have a video on medical self-reliance. Mm -hmm. And I have a video on, and that, that medical self-reliance is on both YouTube and AmityDreamer.net, but also AmityDreamer.net is all the meaty videos that I can't put on YouTube, including how to find your dose. I can't put that on YouTube. So that's on AmityDreamer.net yeah. and the dosing playlist. And in that, I talk about the fact that all I'm trying to do is get you, get you on the road help you find the trail and push you and go, okay, start walking. And the idea is after that, you're going to bushwhack your own way. And if you don't want to, then just stay on the trail that I created, whatever. But the idea really is that for you to feel it and start your conversation with it, get that mushroom voice on board. Okay. So that you don't My ever need me again. You, you have your own relationship with it, you know? Yeah, I have a, I think, um, I have a really strong trauma background. And so I kind of cut off my body awareness when I was young. And so I, I'm not able to sense um, things that other people are. I'm not as sensitive to my own energies or my own body like other people. So that gives me another disadvantage. Oh, well, that sucks. If you need more yeah. help, then um, the way that what I know about Amanita is there's an essence that Robert Rogers made and did clinical trials with that showed an efficacy far higher than just the placebo effect. There mm. does seem to be something about this mushroom that even in just really tiny, almost imperceptible doses, it's working. Okay. And if you have found a place where you don't react to the histamine, uh, the ACE inhibitor mast cell stuff in Amanita, and it's and you're okay with that, then see what happens if you lower it and raise it. See what okay. happens if you take it for a couple of weeks and you raise the dose. Is it tweaking your body? Is it healing your receptors? We don't know. We don't know anything. Right. You're being a citizen scientist. Right. With it. Okay. You know what I mean? And then you let me know because then that's going to just add to the information. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. Let me know. Good suggestion. All right. Thank you. All right. Laura said that she can't unmute. Let me um, read her question. Can Amanita heal my mom's post herpetic neuralgia from the shingles nerve pain for three years now? That is practicing medicine without a license. And I can't answer that question. She is 79 years old. However, not sure she would want to trip microdosing for nerve pain. Um, all I can tell you is you can go to my store, mushroomvoice.com and read the reviews, like the oils and stuff. And if you go to my amityadreamer.net and watch my videos about the oils, I talk in there about where I got that recipe from. Oh yeah, Angel said you're also under the terms of service for any platform that might host you. Yeah, there's that too. I got these Australian licorice. They're pretty good. They're not like overwhelmingly sweet. And one of the things I enjoyed about being in Europe was the sweets weren't like disgustingly sweet they were tolerable all right i've seen these around a lot chico sticks and i wanted to try them so i'm gonna try it anybody got any questions all right chris um, tell us you want to tell oh who's got a question oh uh, i was gonna i was gonna ask so i did i started doing the the microdosing protocol but i was really 
uh, I started to make the the tea and I just something I just listened to my intuition um, and I just didn't want to drink it for some reason. Um, and I just so I went back over to the jar and I reached my hand into it and they kept jumping away from me. So I didn't take them that night. And I went the next night and grabbed one. And uh, instead of making it into the tea, I took a piece of the cap and ate it. Um, and I have a very big vitamin D deficiency. And I remember at the RMC, you guys were talking about the significant levels of vitamin D within the, the mushroom body itself. Um, so I, I, was, I was curious if there is any correlation, like is, is the vitamin D coming across in the tea or do you only get it from the actual mushroom itself? I don't know, dude. There's no studies on that shit. Okay. There's barely any studies on anything. The bulk of what we talk about is because this, us doing mm -hmm. this, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Well, the only reason I'm asking is uh, anyone that anyone that knows uh, more, anyone that's living in an area with very low yeah. uh, light is going to have that vitamin D deficiency and get that bad yeah. seasonal depression. So I'm just And maybe that's to... why it fruits in the fall. Yeah, trying to help us out. Mm -hmm. Right. Angie, it is like Butterfinger without the chocolate. Kind of coconutty. Pop Rocks Extreme. I have something to share that I found. Oh. With hey, sugar. Natalia, also, tell us about your Zoom too. Do both. Okay, I'll do both. Okay, so I found this. If you could see. What is it? Dummies? It's called Academy of Treats Sugar-Free Candy Treasures. <laughs> What's so they look like little treasures. Is it just and candy or is it entheogenic? It's, no, it's just regular candies, but no sugar. Academy of Treats. They look like little gems with different flavors in it with, with no GMO, uh, dry fruits, um, essential oils. That's it. Dude, I need candy without sugar in it. There you go. Little gift. I'm Psychedelic Integration Coach. And on this platform, we do groups meetings where we could come and be ourselves and share something about antenogenic journeys that you had or with any medicines or something that happened into your life and change you that you can't understand fully and you need help to go deeper into that and unfold it, unpack it and do integration work. This is what we do on my Zoom meetings, and this is judgment-free, positive space with opportunity to connect to others and listen and share your wisdom, your stories, and learn some tools that could help you to integrate. Ask any questions that you have, and you could just listen or you could share very deep and sacred moment of your life and of your journeys so um ava she's talking about uh, mushroomvoice.com and i have my own private patron community i can't be on patreon because of censorship so i created my own and it's mushroomvoice.com and we have a calendar right there on the home page of all these different themed zooms and you can find her on the calendar maybe Natalia we has amazing loving energy like angie just said it's it blows me away i was just thinking of you actually yesterday wondering how how you seem to hold so much space for people you're very thoughtful and caring and you make me feel special and loved and cared about i have very few friends and you check in with me a lot and you really it's amazing when i'm around you you give all of this energy off of you that's so sparkling and loving and beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. 
Um, so trying to create that space for anybody who could come and you don't have to talk, you just could just be and listen. And when you're ready, you can share if you feel like it. And to answer your question, this is a common thing with Amanita is the breaking off of reality. My very first trip, I saw all these multiple realities of my current life break off into all these different scenarios. And it seems like you're running scenarios of possibilities and then working it out and going out into the future and going, this possibility right here was the best one of all of those. And then all of those others collapse and you're left with the one that was the best option. And so then when you go forward in your life, you're going to choose to now to move down that path, whatever it was about. You're going to choose to feel that way about it. You're going to choose to see the world in that way. You're going to make a choice that's going to send you down that path because your higher self ran all these different permutations of possibilities and found the best one for you. That's what it feels like is happening to me. Hey, Chris Link, you want to tell us about your Zoom? Sure. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm much like Bradford. I hold a community space that's kind of general information. We get together. People can share their experience or just learn and talk about what's going on in their other people's lives. Yeah, it's just a kind of an open flowing space. Uh, my background is with many different entheogenic plants, including ayahuasca, psilocybin, uh, San Pedro, holding space for things like that. So uh, I kind of bring that kind of knowledge if people want to share different experiences and things like that. Uh, I also, with Amanita, microdose for about a year, and now I mostly work in, with... Um, High dose journeys for myself personally. <laughs> that's where and, we all wind up. <laughs> we get the value in it. It's like, well, that's where I am now. Yeah, right now, Evadita is, I feel like, very, uh, the message is to be gentle with myself because I had a right? very, very intense experience. Uh, Natalia knows about it. I know I've shared with her. The integration process of that has been amazingly like just every aspect of my life kind of like shifting so i love <laughs> yeah i'm going to show where we're headed um let me share my screen again and so this is the community that we're talking about so this is our schedule right here so the first wednesday advanced in theogens and then thursday soma and shamanism and the first Saturday community Zoom with me. So if y'all want to see what all of these are, there's the ADD one, there's Bradford, there's David Fink, he does a European one in um, UTC, 4 p.m. UTC time. Thirds, we have a tea ceremony the third week, a community chat with Chris's, and then a community chat with Bradford, and then another one with David Fink in European time zone, but anyone can go to it, exploring our conscious cosmo microcosmos. And then on the fourth week, another ADD and then entheogen integration with Natalia. And then we'll hope to keep adding to these. I'm still trying to get a men's group together for that fourth week. The store is open right now. It, it's open once a month for a couple of days. And there's my limited edition glow in the dark collectible pin. But this is on the table for, for now. That's it. Anybody else have any questions? Anybody want to just chat about stupid shit? Neko, I've never had these. Do y'all know what these are? This stuff was stupid rich. This dark chocolate sea salt caramel craft mini bar, whatever. That brand is is too rich. I can't eat it. Oh, Dreamer, since you can hear me, may I ask something about um do you recommend any? I just ordered today. Do you recommend any uh particular dehydrator, a real nice one? Yeah. I, I looked on your site. I kept putting in dehydrators, but I, I kept getting the drying sites. Just a no, brand or no, no. Magic Mill. Oh, no. Okay. Thank you so much. Excalibur, right here. Excalibur, awesome. 
All right. And and to make sure they're cracker dry, I can just stop it and open it up and feel them. Yeah, when just I... check it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best way to do it. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, you're welcome. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, I do an, I do a Zoom once a month on mushroomvoice.com. Sometimes I pop into other people's Zooms when I can. Um, that's the best way to hang out with me if you want to hang out with me and ask questions and hang out with other people and get into some pretty cool conversations. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you. We're going to close it up. Thank you, Dreamer. I, Thank I love you so much, people. Dreamer. Happy fall. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Thank happy you. Halloween.